At the first 2020 Democratic Party primary debate, Marianne Williamson pledged to harness love in the face of hatred that is oftentimes spewed by our commander in chief. Now, what she's proving is that she's not just going to harness love in the event she's elected. She is already harnessing love because she did something that is really, it shows her true character and she's starting to win me over based on her personality alone. Like, I don't support her for president because I just don't think that she knows about the policy specifics or is running a very policy-based campaign. Like, I like certain things, right? I love that she's bringing reparations for American descendants of slavery to a national audience. I think these are important issues. But overall, I just... I don't see the policy substance there that is sufficient for my needs. With that being said, she's really a lovely person and she really is proving to us that she's harnessing love. Now I'll tell you what I mean by that. She just put out a fundraising email for Mike Gravel, the meme god himself. And the email is short, so I'm just going to read the entire thing to you. Um, this is really great. She says, Mike Gravel served as a U.S. Senator from Alaska from 1969 to 1981, and this is a 2020 Democratic presidential candidate. You may not have heard of him because he hasn't yet qualified for any debates, but his voice is important. During his time in Senate, he garnered wide respect for his unabashed opposition to the Vietnam War and for reading the Pentagon Papers into the congressional record, risking expulsion from the Senate. Democracy is, by definition, for the people and by the people. Democracy thrives when brave men like Mike Gravel risk their careers to do what's just and right. That's why diverse and provocative voices like Gravel's are so important to move the debates and conversation about our nation's peace and prosperity forward. Thanks to you, I'm on the debate stage, and that's why today I am using this platform granted to me by you to ask for your help. Gravel is only 10,000 donations short of qualifying for the July debates. Please send him to the July debate stage by donating $1 to the Mike Gravel campaign here. Thank you for your commitment to articulating and amplifying the ideas that matter most. So this is just such a kind gesture. You know, it's in good faith. It's a wholesome thing. And it does make me really like Marianne Williamson. And it kind of demonstrates to me that she does believe the things about love that she says. And, you know, sometimes it's goofy, right? Sometimes she starts to kind of trail into territory that's a little bit kooky. But still, I think that overall she's a very nice person and she just really showed what a sweet person she is by doing this because she absolutely has, you know, not very much to gain. I'd say that she gains respect from people by doing this, but I mean, you don't have too much to gain by propping up someone who's technically your opponent. So by doing this, you know, it's such a kind gesture and it shows what a sweet person she is and she has the right idea. We all need to see Mike Gravel on the debate stage because even though we have our favorites like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, Mike Gravel is better than everyone else on the debate stage. He's leagues better than all of them on foreign policy. He's against drones. He is in favor of, you know, calling out Israel's apartheid state. He's the real deal. So we need that voice to penetrate national political discourse. And he's the only one who's vowing to bring these issues to light. He's the best. So we need him on the debate stage. So I'm really glad that she's doing this for him because one, it's drawing attention to Mike Gravel's campaign, which you should all donate to. It's MikeGravel.org, by the way. But two, she also is raising his name recognition and getting people to look into Mike Gravel who may not know because, I mean, I can talk about Mike Gravel and use my platform to kind of boost these issues that he's promoting, but I mean, unless you give him that national spotlight, it really isn't going to matter at the end of the day because indie media shows like mine, they're just not going to make that big of a difference. So absolutely kudos to her. Um, and I want to share my favorite tweet from her. So this was brought to my attention by a friend of the show, Matt Bender, who uh, shared this tweet. So this is from 2012, and this is what Marianne Williamson said. This is my favorite tweet of all time, and it's why I really am starting to fall in love with her. She says this about Syria. Mentally quarantine the government of Syria. See them and their minions surrounded by a golden egg that their malevolence cannot penetrate. Within the egg, let's see them showered with light to awaken them. 
And Matt Binder says to that, and they say Democratic candidates have been weak on foreign policy. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is still in recovery mode. What's not to love? Um, she's wholesome. She's bringing the meme. She's bringing the good positive vibes. I'm all for it. Um, so she's going up in my book. She's winning me over, not because I think she should become president, but because she really does seem to be a super nice person who has the purest intentions. And um, what she's saying is important. Let's get Mike Gravel on the debate stage. He's super close, within 10,000. And they claim that the Marianne boost is working, so let's give them the humanist report boost while we're at it. Let's all harness love to get Mike Gravel on that debate stage. MikeGravel.org, donate to him. Do he's super close. We've got to get his voice because he's a true anti-war voice who's shining a light on the horrors of the U.S. empire. And Americans just don't know about these things. And Mike Gravel is going to bring this to their attention. And we need that. They need that. The American people need to be educated. So I'm all for it. MikeGravel.org. We're super close. Let's not give up. Let's get him on the debate stage.